Hey everyone, welcome back for the final installment on wrapping the Lancer in vinyl. As you can see, the letters and the logo are up on the tail. I've been flying with the plane for about three or four hours so far. Everything's still sticking, so that's a good sign. And before we get to this, I want to remind you that in the next week, I'll be putting together a video that's going to be going down to the nitty gritty on the things that I encountered, where there were problems, and it looks really great here, and it does look good. I, I'm proud of the work I've done, but just to, to, to make people aware of, like, it's not perfect. It's not 100% perfect, even in the making. Uh, great accomplishment, but I want people to see where I had problems, so possibly they can learn from that as well. So stay tuned in next week's episode, uh, where I go over all of that. Uh, for now, let's get to this. Thanks for watching. With several days worth of so-called experience under my belt, I began to feel comfortable with the process. It was time to bring this wrap session to an end within the next several days, or at least I hoped. Primary reason was simple. I wanted to go flying. I was tired of being on the ground. I needed to get this bird right up in the air. The most tedious part was definitely the surface cleansing. Did I clean enough? That was the one question in my mind. Time will tell. Duplicating a pattern from one side to the other was also a concern. I used painter's paper to trace a pattern on one side of the plane so that I could replicate it on the opposite side. I'm sure that both sides aren't exactly the same, but in this case, close enough is definitely good enough. This area was one of the trouble spots. I didn't have too many problems doing the pilot's side and went into the right side with too much confidence. I scrapped the whole piece here. You won't be seeing that because I didn't want you to see me cry. I'll be speaking a little about this in next week's video, so make sure you hit the notifications button so that you're the first to know when that video is released.
As you've seen throughout this series, I use a lot of contractor grade painter's tape. Primary reason is price. The one thing important to remember is never to leave this stuff on too long. After three days, you'll run the risk of having glue residue on the surface, which will then require another degreaser step in the cleansing process. Because of this, I made sure I didn't have any tape on the plane before ending one day's work session.